Hi, welcome to this hands-on session on Snowflake. I am Marisa Tanvir and in this video you will learn how to create roles in Snowflake and how to grant different types of access to them. By the end of this lesson, you would have learned how to create a role in Snowflake, how to grant it access to a database, a warehouse, a schema, and how to grant it select access to different views. And finally, we are also going to see how we can run the get detail utility on our views. We will start by changing our role to account admin. This admin is not being used because we are not manipulating the database. Then I will use the schema in which our tables are present. Now I will create a role by using the command create or replace role and I am going to call it view role because it is going to have view access. After creating the role, the next step is to grant access to it. So I am going to start by giving it access to the warehouse which is our compute assets and I am going to give it the usage access. Okay, there is a type, oh I have written grant instead of grant. Run it again and now your access rights will be successfully allocated. Similarly, I will grant the role the usage access to the database as well. And similarly, I am also going to grant it the access to our schema which is e-commerce underscore live. After granting the access to the warehouse database and schema, now I am going to grant it access to our views. I am going to only grant the select access to the role. And finally, I am going to grant this role to a particular user here. I am going to use my own username. Now, I will test the get DDL on the new row. The get DDL function returns a DDL statement that can be used to recreate the specified object. And for that, I am first going to switch my role to the newly created role. And here you can see that once the role is switched, the other databases and schemas are gone and only those are visible which the role has access to. Similarly, in the warehouses, only compute SH is visible. Let's check whether the database schemas and the views are actually accessible by the role or not. We have changed the schema and it is accessible. Now I am going to select the view. Upon running, you will see that view will be displayed which means that the role has access to it. Now I am going to run the get DDL on this view and we, it will display us the data about the object which in this case is the view. Now it is to be remembered that this view is a simple type of view. Now I am going to run the get detail on the secured view where the first parameter is the view and the second parameter is the name of the view. Upon running you will get an error that it cannot access and this is the main advantage of using the secured view as it does not expose the underlying data to any role. And this is all about roles in Snowflake. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.